Hi, everybody! Welcome to Aizen's channel. This is Japanese home cooking videos for my daughter who grows up in America. I hope it can find you who is also interested in Japanese home cooking. Today, we're gonna make banana bread. This banana bread is moist and delicious and full of banana flavor. The ingredients are simple. My family loves it. I hope you like it. Ingredients Matured banana, unsalted butter, sugar, bread flour, eggs, baking powder, and vinegar. Alright, let's get started. At first, put butter in room temperature to soften. And preheat oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Shift bread flour and baking powder in a bowl. I just forgot to mention that maybe you can use almonds or walnut for topping on the banana bread. I remember my mom used to put sliced almonds on the bread. It tastes good. When butter softens, place it in a large bowl and stir. Please pick up unsalted butter. This is the key. Stir butter very well until it's smooth. If butter is cold and hard, it's not easy to smooth it. You may get the butter out of the fridge way beforehand. When butter becomes soft enough, add sugar in it. I use brown sugar. You can use regular sugar as well. Mix butter and sugar together. This is the key. Mix butter and sugar very, very well. My mom was a cooking teacher in Japan. She always tell me when you make sweets, mix butter and sugar very well. It's the basics. Add eggs in it. In this recipe, you need two and a half eggs. So I beat one egg and use the half of beaten egg in addition to two whole eggs. Mix the eggs with the dough together. Now you have half beaten egg left. You can keep it for tomorrow's morning breakfast for scrambled egg or use it for another food. We don't waste food. This is the key, blend well. Okay, let's go to bananas. Pick matured bananas because they are sweeter. I have used young bananas before, but I don't recommend young bananas because it's not sweet and also it's not easy to mash bananas in the later process. Peel bananas. Mash bananas by hands roughly and place them in the bowl. You don't have to completely smash them. You can enjoy chunky texture in the banana bread. Mix mashed banana together. Place shifted flour in two times in the bowl and mix roughly. This is the key. Blend it with a spatula as if you cut the dough. Don't stir hard. Do you remember? Before you put flour in the bowl, you mix the dough very well. 
but after you add flour in the bowl, you don't stir hard. Can you see I cut the dough with my right hand and then rotate the bowl with my left hand? Let's take a look again. Add vinegar along the edge of the bowl and mix. This vinegar is a secret taste. I usually use rice vinegar. Put parchment seed in a loaf pan or grease it. Place the dough in the pan. Once you make dough, the only thing to do is just baking. Remove air from the dough. Then it's ready to go. Bake at 320 degrees Fahrenheit, about 40 minutes. Stick chopsticks inside the bread. It's done if there's nothing to stick to the chopsticks. Adjust the time to bake depending on how you like it. Bake longer if you like crispy one. Chill the bread after baking. Take the bread out of the pan. Slice the bread. It's easy to slice the bread when it's cool. It's done. This is banana bread. Itadakimasu! Enjoy your happy time! Personally, I like to eat this banana bread with milk. Let me know how you like it. Finally, the recipe is here. And ingredients here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like my video. See you in the next one.